My guests are a young band from Southern California who play anthemic, aggressive, dancey rock music. England's Enemy magazine called them one of the best new bands of 2010, and so am I. Their debut album, The Golden Age of Nowhere, has just been released. Funeral Party, welcome to the top 20. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> really psyched to have you guys here. Cool. So um, the first time I even heard of you guys, The Funeral Party, I immediately thought, The Cure. It's the name of a Cure song, one of my favorite bands. It was, was that a deliberate reference? It is the name of a Cure yes. song. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you got that right off the bat. Yeah. So what inspired that? Why did you guys decide to name the band that? Um, go ahead. Right. We weren't really happy with the name that we had, and then. What was it? Uh, something or other. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, I don't know that he had a really interesting, like you know, play like the way he found it. You know, it was just kind of cool, and then. It was mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't know. We just we just stuck with it. We kind of were like, uh, it's not that great, but yeah, whatever. they didn't like it. So, but they couldn't think of anything better. Yeah, so we, we I actually like, think it fits your sound really well. It's dark. It's cool. Yeah. So you guys really started playing this this LA scene that was this crazy scene. It was like riots. There was it was violent, sort of sort yeah. of violent, right? So what was going on in this scene? There was just it, it's just a clash. It's like a culture clash of all kinds of different like kids and like punkers, metal, um, little emo kids and mm -hmm. dance punks and, uh, and you know, goth, you know, goth yeah. kids. And they were all just in one area and there's alcohol thrown into the mix. And it was basically a house party, but in the yeah. backyard, just with live, different like live bands going on too. And so sometimes, you know, people would get a little rowdy and there's been like knives pulled out and a uh, gun was pulled out one time. <laughs> Somebody got stabbed trying to climb a fence, you know, like, yeah. See blood trails on the floor. And we were still <laughs> like, playing. This lady came up to us screaming, like, stop, stop. I'm like, why? <laughs> You're like rocking in the middle of crime scenes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, would you say that sort of playing those scenes affected your sound at all? Um, it made us more energetic, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're playing amongst all this chaos, you know, so, like, of course, we have to be energetic. And at the time we were playing, People wanted to party, so we wanted to give them music to party to. You know, and they wanted to see a show that, and the energy kind of bounced off each other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, I've seen you guys play live, and the energy is just fantastic. I mean, it's a huge part of your show, so I, I understand how that came about. We are going to see the video in a second for your song Finale, but Finale, I think I read somewhere that you said it's, it was about like an older man sort of looking back on his life. Mm -hmm. So, you guys are such a young band, so what inspired that concept? Um, it's kind of a morbid story, but uh, New Year's Day, I was walking from someone's house from a party that I stayed at, and I saw this bum who um, who was dead at Taco Bell. He, he just had, he just died, but he was there. And was uh, it from eating Taco Bell? I don't know. No, no. no. It, it, it <laughs> not, sure. not sure. Not sure. It might have been the cause of death. Um, no, but he had an empty bottle with him, like next to him, and the police just arrived there, and they were like check, like you know, touching his body, and I was just like, wow. At least he went out with a bang, you know? <laughs> like, he parted to the last breath. Oh, yeah. okay. And I was just thinking, like, I wonder what he was thinking before, you know? Like, if he felt death kind of coming on and if he reflected on his life. Mm -hmm. And then we wrote the song, like, two weeks later, and that kind of just stuck in my head. Wow, that is actually very interesting. I'm not <laughs> expecting that story.